Kuia te tino o ngā tono tiriti katoa. E rua te kau tau kua pahure i te tono tuatahi a tētahi rōpū Māori mō ngā āhuatanga Māori katoa. Nōna nahi neina i whakapua ki mai ai te rōpū whakamana i tana pūrongo e iwa rau whārangi. A nei ia, iwa rau whārangi. Nā, e whaiake nei ko ngā tai pito pito mō te tono nui rawa o ngā tono katoa mō roki noa nei. Nō te wā i kitea te memeha o te kūmara me ngā tipu Māori i Aotearoa, me te kitea tu i Hapāni kē, ka whakahautia te tono a ngā iwi e ono kia tiakina ngā tao ngā Māori. Ko tā rātau i roto i te koko raho, kua takahia te tritio waitangi e te krauna nā te korenga o te tiaki i ngā tao ngā Māori. Nā te tūkino a te marea o tā wahi i ngā ingoa me ngā tika ngā Māori, ko ngā kupu pēnei i te tohunga, me te tapu hei ngoa mō ngā tao ngā Lego, me te haka kere tao a ngā Spice Girls, i āpiti atu e nei ki te hohonu o te kokoraho. Te hohonu o te kaupapa, kia u mei ngā tao ngā mō ngā uri whakatupu, ngā tao ngā katoa, o roto te nimotu, o runga, o ralo, te moana, o runga, o ralo i te whenua. Ko e e e nei te kaupapa tūturu, hei whainga mamatu ngā kuia o teniwa, hei afi ngā rangatahi nō rātu huki te ao a pōpū. I nae nei, ko sāna Murray anake te morehu o ngā kaitaki i te kōkoraho. A, e ora tonu ana ia, i te putanga mai o te ripuata, kua whātau te roa o te tuhi. Ahakoa kei te krauna te kupu whakamutunga, Ka ore e kore, ko ngā kōrero o roto, ka hora ki te iwi Māori, o ti rā, ki ngā iwi taketake, o te ao whānui. Nā, he mea whakapuaki ake te pūrongo ki ngā kaitono, i tētahi hui motu hake i te marae o Rōma i Ahipara i te raki o te ika i na nahi. Engari kei te kāwanatanga te tikanga mō te hāpai ake, mō te tūraki i horāne i ngā whakatau i roto i te pūrongo. Hei tā te minita i ngā take tiriti a Chris Finlayson, kāri ia i te ohorere i ngā kōrero i roto i te pūrongo. This report's had a very long gestation or preparation period and much of what they talk about um, I'm already sort of acting on uh, and indeed they make some comments about the very good work of this government and treaty settlements. There are a couple of recommendations that I think I would have uh, no issue with rejecting and that is the suggestion of another government department to administer uh, to Rayo. I mean I, I really don't think that's necessary. Kā te e te iwi, me kōrero tātou mō te reo. Kā re te kāwanatanga mō te whakatū manatū reo Māori, nā whai anō te pātai ai rā nei e mārama nā rātou ki tā tātou au hi he mea nui te whakaoranga mai o te reo Māori. Kei te taumata kōrero i tēnei wiki e tahi tāngata e remu rere ana e ngā kau nui ana ki te reo Māori, tohunga reo Māori, ahorangi taiarahia Black. Me mō o te paipai motu hake, Kathy Jews, me te toi hau o ngā reo irirangi Māori o te motu te whakaruru hau, ara a Willie Jackson. Kia ora, let's start with you, Kathy. When you hear Minister Finlayson say he's not really interested in having a minister of te reo Māori. <coughs> How does that make you feel? Um, well, I think National Party, Labour Party, Māori Party, Mana Party would all have their views about um, how we might best revitalise te reo Māori. What I do know is that um, Māori people want to be resourced to manage their own revitalisation strategies within their own iwi, within their own rohe. And um, I think Te Pai Pai Mutuhake's recommendation that there be a Minister of Māori Affairs supported <coughs> by an appropriate <coughs> budget of around about $600 million, um, where Māori have the power and authority to control how that is allocated and how that is utilised by iwi, um, that's going a long way to assisting revitalisation. Did you actually ask for a Minister of Te Reo Māori? It was a recommendation um, and we didn't say a Ministry of Māori Language. Um, we saw that there would need to be some work done on the existing Māori Language Act and the current um, Commission, um, Tauta Whiri i Te Reo, uh, we were in no way suggest suggesting that that should be replaced by a Ministry of Māori Language, but a reworking of it so that there is a true partnership 
in terms of um, managing revitalization, where the power is returned to iwi to make the decisions on how it happens, and they're resourced to make it happen. Okay, Willie Jackson, you speak on behalf of Whakaruruho, your chairman, as Reo Māori broadcasters. You've been hugely critical of Te Pai Pai Motuhake and their review. Why is that? I don't know if we've been hugely critical. I think we've, we, um, we certainly uh, uh, insisted that uh, there should be more um, money allocated for Iwi Radio. I think Iwi Radio has, in fact we know, has really been the backbone in terms of uh, promoting te reo Māori in Māori broadcasting. We think more in Māori TV, uh, more so than Māori TV or TVNZ or anyone because Māori Radio has been around a very long time. So I wouldn't say we've been hugely uh, critical of uh, Paipai Motuhake. We just, we just said that there should be uh, other strategies that should be implemented. But in terms of uh, the question uh, with regards to the tribunal, we should never ever be surprised about the government rejecting tribunal recommendations because uh, the government uh, treats the tribunal with contempt at times. You know, through the years they've made some great recommendations uh, and more and more governments are reje rejecting them. And uh, uh, so we should not be, be surprised about that at all. Uh, it goes hand in hand with how they treat take Māori, kaupapa Māori. There should be some respect for the work that people like uh, Kathy and, and Ty and them do, but unfortunately there's not enough respect. Ty, um it's my understanding that the former Māori Language Commissioner, Hami Pitipi, actually said having a Reo Māori Minister is retrograde. W what's your view on that? I just want to come back to the original question, just yeah. for a moment. <clears throat> I think the first thing to, re to remember, that the statement by the Minister is a direct threat to the Māori language. Mm. I mean, uh, when the Māori language had a spectacular rise in the 80s and the 90s, and to the present, and one of the key issues that drove Māori for Māori language revitalization was um, they created an awareness we needed to do something. Mm. The second point is that commitment. The third point is the management of their commitment. And the fourth point is the will of the heart to develop the language of the people. Now, the, the, the other important point is that what you need for Māori language revitalization is a positive attitude. What we have is a predominantly uh, the, the same statement that we're hearing all the time, no to Māori, no to Māori language. <clears throat> mm. Is it any wonder that we are spending all this money and then the minister comes out and says that uh, we are, we're not going to have a targeted seat mō te reo Māori? Now the other point is this, this ministry, um, Pai Pai Mutu, was established by the minister and again government is pushing aside its own request for Māori language revitalization. <clears throat> Let's go back to the original point. The original point is this. The purpose of Māori language uh, revitalisation is to restore the vitality of the Māori language. <clears throat> is it vital though, Ty, every year for about the last 20 years we've heard if Māori language had a heartbeat, it would be dead? You restore the, the <laughs> vitality of the Māori language, you, you restore the people. That's the answer to your question. You're talking about people. Kathy, you're, you're talking were... about their distinctiveness. You're talking about the, the covenant that drives people to say who they are and where they belong in this particular country. Let's not make it a cliché. Exactly. Mm. Kathy, you were practically responsible mm. for inventing Te Reo Māori Week. Forty years later, how do you feel about it? Um, I agree with um, the finding of Te Pai Pai Mutuhake that our language is severely at risk. Um, it's not extinct. Uh, but it's certainly nowhere near safe. So there's still a lot more effort that has to go into promoting Māori language, as um, Tai has referred to, getting people to believe in its importance and to know its importance and to work for its importance. So everyone who can speak Māori should be speaking Māori all the time. And there needs to be support for the people who want to learn Māori uh, wherever they are that they should be able to learn it. If they're at home, they should be able to learn it at home. So that's going to be a huge thrust for us in the next few years with all the Atarangi trained tutors that we've got available now as a, a usable resource waiting to go. There's a whole army of teachers there waiting to go to take the language into the homes, into the schools, to wherever. Willie, how does iwi radio and mainstream media, how, how can that actually help 
to spread te reo Māori. Well, iwi, iwi Radio is doing that now. It's uh, a lot of the stations are, are, are broadcasting predominantly in te reo Māori. So, and been doing that for years and years, and not getting the kudos, not getting the support. And you know, we get hoha because we say we're the poor cousins, you know, and we don't we don't get wage increases for years. Is you know? it relevant that they don't race? Uh, no, not really, because we should never buy into the Pākehā rationale that we don't rate, otherwise we'd close down this show and Te Karere and uh, every other Māori show that was going. And, and, and that's my main, I mean, I mean moan with, uh, not so much with Paipai Motuhake, but, but, but with, the, with the, the rationale that government puts forward. They say, do we get value for dollar? I, I think you, that, that is so hard to measure, it's not funny, Jody. You know, how do they measure things? They put a box forward, does your family speak Māori? It's just, just nonsense. There's no, uh, there's no notice taken of families who go to kura, uh, whose kids are speaking fluent Māori. The parents were not speakers, the grandparents were not speakers, but those kids' whole world now is Māori. OK. You know? And in terms of, of, of the tribunal, I'm disappointed the tribunal didn't come back with making the language compuls that compulsory. That was going to be my, we've got 30 seconds left, yeah. yes or no, should it be compulsory in our education system, Willie? Oh no, absolutely. Cathy? It should be available for all Māori to learn. We should be targeting the high level Māori language for, and make it available to Māori. Kia ora, thank you very much. Back to you, Scotty. Hi, kia ora koutou katoa ngā manu kōrero o te neiata.